Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Sammy here and today I'd like to go over a topic which greatly interests me. Uh, it's been posted a couple of times on the PC Master Race subreddit in the past month, uh, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Uh, it is of course, as you can probably guess by the title of the video, um, Start Menu Tiles for Windows 10. Uh, there's a couple of programs already that allow you to modify this in the way that you wish. Um, some of them being Steam Tiles, specifically for Steam games, uh, Tile Creator, um, IBLY Tile, which has now been updated, uh, and I'm sure there's quite a few more, so feel free to mention them, um, because I will not be able to list uh, all of them, even if I were to do my research. Um, I would, uh, personally, I'm going to go over a method that I use. Uh, I didn't create the method, I simply researched and found the method, uh, and I enjoy it greatly. Uh, greatly. Uh, for this method, you are going to have to use the tool. Uh, it's called Windows, uh, or Win10 Tile. I'll put a link for it in the description. Um, the great thing about this is that you don't have any background services running as you do with the other methods, if I am correct. Um, which means that the window that you have popping up for a split second when you click on a game uh, is much briefer than it would be, say, you were uh, using one of these other programs. And also, uh, despite the RAM usage by these other programs, is very, very minimal. Uh, you don't have that at all with this method. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, uh, but I don't believe I am. Um, all right, then what is the main difference between the, uh, the method that I'm using and these tools? Uh, I just mentioned a couple of them. Um, the main downside to this method is you are unable to resize the tiles to wide. As you can see, I can only choose between small and medium, whereas this live tile, I am now able to resize however I wish. Um, I'll quickly give you a quick demonstration of what happens when I click one of the links. As you can see, a small uh, command prompt box uh, popped up for a split second, and then the game instantly launches. Um, all right, let's get into it, shall we? Um, I'm going to quickly go over Steam games. Um, the primary difference between doing a Steam game and doing an application is with a Steam game, when you create a link, uh, you get a .url file, whereas uh, if you are doing this with a link, you get a um, uh, .lnk file, which allows you to skip a bunch. So halfway through this video, I'm going to go, if you're just using a file, normal file, continue from here, um, and you should be fine. Uh, all right, so start off, go to your game, click Properties. Uh, click Create Desktop Shortcut. Brilliant. All right, take the shortcut and move it somewhere that you want hidden away. And for me, I've got a nice little folder called um, Customize. Okay. Uh, now rename this to something a little bit easier to do in a shortcut. Uh, for me, I'm just calling it COD. Uh, and open up a Notepad file. Okay. Uh, in this notepad you want to type start, then the file directory followed by the file name. Uh, in this case it's cod.url uh, and save it as a BAT file. Um, so cod.bat. Right, brilliant. After doing so, uh, right click your new bat file and create a shortcut. Okay. Um, all right, uh, people who are just uh, using this for a normal application aren't using this for Steam game. This would be the same as the shortcut you'd use on your desktop. Um, so you can just continue from here if you're doing it with just a normal application. Uh, next, go to your App Data Roaming Microsoft Windows Start Menu Programs file. Uh, you can easily get to your app uh, data by typing in uh, percentage sign app data and it just pops up right there uh, and paste the newly created shortcut that you've made within the folder and um, leave it there. 
What this allows us to do is search for it within our start menu. Um, so as you can see, I can just get up here. Uh, and it allows us to pin it straight to our start menu. So here you go. Have it nice and, uh, nice and pretty just down here. Uh, all right, next, the application that we're going to be using is a application called, uh, should be able to remember the uh, top, uh, Win10 Tile. Um, and I'm going to put a link for it in the description. And this it doesn't run in the background or anything like this. This is a one time only program and simply allows us to change the XML file, uh, which gives the link down here all the properties it has. Uh, such as the image and such. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to where our link is. Uh, in this case, it is here. Um, from this point here, we'd select an image, direct it to our file directory uh, for the image that we wanted to change it to, uh, and click Save. Um, that is literally it. Um, I don't believe there's anything else I particularly wanted to mention in this video, but um, I hope this has helped out. Um, and yeah, um, please make a comment saying how I can improve because this is one of my first videos, me actually talking. Uh, so I'm sure it's absolutely shit uh, and I'm completely open to criticism and um, any help that you could give me in improving these for the future. So. There we go. Thank you and have a lovely evening. Um, enjoy yourselves. Bye.